What is up, beautiful? How you doing today? So every time I go in the drugstore and I happen to walk by the hair color section and I always go, I just have to like take a peek at it. Just like look at what's going on over there. I gotta analyze the situation. And I always see this one box dye that really hits me hard. Harder than all the other box dyes do. Okay, and it's the gray at home box dye kit. What the f is that? It's just not possible. It is not possible to do that. Like, listen, this smoothie is $12 and it is the best $12 smoothie I've ever had in my life. Gray box dye, sounds like a horrible idea. So, I went on the internet and I found a video of a girl actually using it. So, let's watch the video and find out if gray box dye works. I might say no, but let's watch it. Today's video is by Ashley Dolce. My hair fell out, bleach fell, I bleaching, and <laughs> dyeing my hair during a mental breakdown. So, we're just gonna see how bad it actually Hey, bitches. I got that hair, not very well. I'm just gonna... Yeah, we're already starting off with a really... ratchet canvas. Mess up. So... Yeah, I'm like... Put that away! Up here and then like the Wendy's... Put it away! Then, uh, I don't know. But anyway, Let's analyze the situation. So she already has missed spots where she didn't correctly bleach it. She also has some orange roots. She also has some blonde ends. And she's got some blonde ends at the ends ends. And then she's got really long hair. And I don't know what happened. But like, it kind of looks like a look. Listen, it could be saved. But maybe she it up more. I don't know. You're in it! Welcome! <laughs> As if you didn't want to be in it, okay? Mm, I see you, I see you. Hopefully I don't end up in it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Girl, with this title, you know you're gonna end up in this video, okay? <laughs> Catch me at that. Oh my God, look at this box die. Anyways, I got this. How is that gonna do any, how, how? Her hair's like blue, purple, silver. Kind of pretty, but like. But it is smoky blue. Smoky I blue. Have never gone smoky blue. Your hair is literally orange. And if you guys didn't already know, blue cancels out orange. Orange cancels out blue. So most likely, when she puts this blue toned pigment over her orange hair. Just gonna cancel each other out into like a muddy, nasty color. Can't wait. Wow, look at those roots. It's very interesting what's going on with her hair right now. Cause she has like some blonde roots, which looks like it was probably like her virgin hair up there when, before she bleached it. And then she has this orange like middle section going on, which is probably some like black box dye that was removed that created orange. And then her ends are lighter blonde, which is kind of confusing. Why is the midsection orange? A lot of questions here. I wish we got a little bit more of a background story before this. And of course, what else is new? We're going on the roots first, which is not how you should do it. She should really be hitting the darkest parts of her hair first with the bleach. So those red midsections. And then moving on to the ends and then moving on to the roots. That way everything lifts exactly the same and you end up with an even color roots to ends. Because guess what? The roots lift faster than any other part of the hair. Because of why? I say this every video. Because there's heat from your damn scalp, okay? 
My scalp is burning. Great. She's sort of doing the dark parts first, but also doing her roots. I mean, we're sort of doing it right. We're sort of not doing it right. I don't know what this application process is. There's absolutely no rhyme or reason to what she's doing. I love always watching girls trying to lather bleach as if it's some kind of shampoo and you can just put it on one section and kind of like mush it through. Girl, uh-uh, I don't know who told you, but bleach does not lather. So you really gotta go section by section by section when you're using bleach because it's not gonna lather it and it's not gonna really transfer through to the other side. And it's made that way so that bleeding doesn't happen. She is definitely just, just going in for it. <laughs> oh, it's so dry. hear her this isn't this isn't this isn't good this isn't good at all oh no it's really babe it's really not good oh, I'm getting chills let's break down the situation so she has blonde mother roots okay like Sizzled off blonde roots. She has orange midsection still. She has spots everywhere that she missed. She has light ends. I mean, even if she went to a hairstylist to fix this, it, there's not a lot we could do. It would take hours, days, session after session to fix this. It is a mess. So I cannot wait to see what she comes up with at the end to fix this. Or maybe she doesn't because looking at this title, she might have not fixed it. Okay. We're putting the box dye over the bleached hair. The literal, in some sections, white, porous, messed up bleached hair. Okay. Let I'm done for today. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna exit this way. Why, Ashley? Why? If she's putting gray over this orange, no, 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 blue gray over this already orange hair, it's just gonna create like a green, mucky gray. Really bad. And also, it's so spotty already that it's just gonna become more spotty and dark and gross with the toner. Ugh. No. I wanna help you. Oh no! 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 Yo, the camera can't even focus on me because it's so it's so stressed out. Oh. Yeah. It's even worse than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, baby! Oh my god. This might be one of the worst fails I've ever seen. Congratulations, Ashley! You made it to the top charts of fail video. <laughs> Girl, I need some green juice right now. There's no real saving this. Your only real option here is to go dark as hell. Okay, now she's ripping out all the hair, all of her hair that she lost from the brush. So also gray is only gonna work when your hair is already lifted to a pale yellow stage. This is the stage of the blonding. Ooh. You gotta lift it to the lightest stage before you put a gray silver toner on it or else it's not gonna look right. And if your hair is not completely even and beautiful, it's gonna pick up stronger in some sections and less strong in some sections. And it's gonna be a mess, just like Miss Ashley's hair right now. Ashley, I'm gonna pray to the hair gods for you. It ain't looking too good for ya. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe try and go like red. So I don't know what's gonna happen when you put red over that gray, those gray spots. It might make it mucky and gross again. Or you could just go and color your hair black. I think that might work the best for ya. And I'm so sorry that happened to your hair, but next time, we're not gonna do that, are we? Mm-mm. And if you guys are watching, thinking about buying that gray box dye, 
Mm -mm, girl, don't do it. Don't even pick it up at the store. Put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, don't put it down, girl. Well, that is all for today. Follow me and Xmodo on Instagram and Twitter. And thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.